Okay, so welcome to Mathstoria and let's have this computing sample standard division using Excel. So we have this given samples and the formula in solving for the sample standard division. So to solve for this problem, so from the given samples, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So since we have 15 samples, so therefore the sample size is 15. Then to solve for the mean, so we need to add all the samples and divide it by the sample size. So to get the sum of all the samples, so you need to highlight all the numbers, then allocate one space for the answer, then click this auto sum. So therefore, the sum of all the samples is 102. So to solve now for the mean, so we have equals, then this 102, divide by the sample size, that's 15. So therefore, the mean is 6.8. Then for this column, so we have x minus the mean or sample minus the mean. So to create now an equation, so we have equals, then just click this number. So that's the 5, then minus the mean, and the mean is 6.8. Then press enter, so that's 2.2. .2. And for the remaining values, so click this number, right click, copy, then highlight the remaining cells. Then press enter. So these are now the values for this column. And for this column, so we have x minus the mean quantity squared. So the same as multiply this number by itself. So to make an equation, so equals, then click this number. Then times or asterisk, then the same number. Then enter. So that's 4.84. So for the remaining values, so click this number, right click, copy, then highlight the remaining cells, then press enter. So these are now the values for this column. Now take note if you want four decimal places, so just highlight this column, right click, format cells, number, then click number, then adjust the decimal places. So you can have four decimal places, then OK. But if you want only two decimal places, so highlight this column, right click, format cells, number, so number, then number, then two decimal places, then press OK. Then for this submission of x minus the mean quantity squared, so this one is the sum of all these numbers. So to get the sum of all these numbers, so highlight all these numbers, allocate one space, then click auto sum. So therefore the sum of all these numbers is 70.40. So this time we can solve now the sample standard division because we have now all the values. So this summation of x minus the mean quantity squared that's equal to 70.40. So we have now 70.40. Then over n minus 1. Since n is 15, so 15 minus 1. So over 14. Then to find the value, so equals 70.40. Then divide by 14. Then enter. That's 5.028571. Then since we have this the square root, so to get the square root, so equals, then this is QRT, the square root, then open parenthesis, click this number, close parenthesis, then enter, so that's 2.24. So therefore, the sample standard division is 2.24. 24. So this is how to solve a sample standard division using Excel.